But we bring you the story of the first recipient of the Mahavir Chakra in independent India. His name was Brigadier Rajinder Singh, who just weeks after independence led a small force of 100 Dogra soldiers to defend Jammu and Kashmir from a 5,000 strong Pakistani invasion force. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a four-day operation that secured Jammu and Kashmir with the Indian Union. This is the CNN News 18 special report. October 27th, commemorated as a black day in the valley. The day separatists claimed Kashmir was taken by force by India. But what they forget is that 70 years ago, at the same time, a brave Indian general and his band of soldiers died defending the valley from a Pakistani invasion. His name, Brigadier Rajinder Singh Jamwal immortalized as the savior of Kashmir. In the wake of the partition violence, Pakistan sniffed its first opportunity to invade Jammu and Kashmir. Over 5,000 Pakistani tribals and troops swooped into the valley after there was a mutiny in the 4th Jammu and Kashmir infantry where the Muslim officers turned on their Dogra brothers. They attacked their own brethren. They attacked their commanding officer and the adjutant and they killed them and suddenly the way to Shirnagar ray wide open. On the night of October 22nd, the Pakistani forces sacked Muzaffarabad and began the march towards Srinagar. Maharaja Hari Singh turned to Brigadier Rajinder Singh Jambal, the chief of the armed forces of Jammu and Kashmir. <laughs> Dr. Karan Singh remembers that day vividly when the brigadier was given his orders. He came and he saluted my father, saluted me, sat down. And Daddy said to him, as far as I can remember, he said to him, you know, the situation is very difficult. Uh, you have to go and fight to the last man and the last, last bullet. He said, Your Highness, of course, I will do that. He got up again, saluted both of us. Yograt Singh Jamwal, the brigadier's nephew, was a college student then and remembers the final jeep ride with his uncle before he went to fight the enemy. So he picked me up a bit, I'm on my way. To Srinagar. So, when the scar was in charge of the state forces, they took over. Farewell. That is the last I saw him. The brigadier gathered around 100 men from the Badami Bagh cantonment and left Srinagar to meet the invaders head on at Uri. He did not even order any of his subordinates to go forward. He could have sent a major, a captain to do this delaying action. He was the chief of staff. But the man decided to go himself. Barber, roti pakane wale, ye wo, or some other, along the pilots and other things, wo he collected that. To be able to rally such people whom you have not even seen to fight a war under such adverse conditions speaks volumes for his leadership qualities. The brigadier and his brave soldiers delayed Pakistan's advance by four days, making them bleed at Uri, Mahura and Bunyar. But the size of the invasion force was too overwhelming. They made their last stand near Baramula. They put roadblocks in the rear so that they could kill Brigadier Rajinder Singh and his men. He got through one roadblock, then he, there was a second roadblock. They had dropped trees on the way and they started firing. They started firing on the drivers of the convoy. He was badly wounded in the arm and the leg. He ordered the troops there that he must be picked up and put under a sort of a culvert with a pistol. The reason that he gave was that I told the king that if Pakistanis get across me, it will be over my dead body. On October 26, 1947, Maharaja Hari Singh signed the instrument of accession. On the morning of October 27th, the 1st Battalion of the Sikh Regiment landed in Srinagar and pushed back the Pakistani invaders. The sacrifice of the Dogra warriors giving them the tactical advantage. If you have Jammu and Kashmir today, it is because of one man, Brigadier Rajinder Singh, MVC. The idea of India involves uh, Kashmir. And if, if it had not been for his action, we would not have had Kashmir. Brigadier Rajinder Singh Jamal was awarded the first Mahavir Chakra in independent India on December 30th, 1949. Not only did he defend Jammu and Kashmir, he also protected the independence of a newborn nation. 
In his sacrifice lies the most potent challenge to the separatists, propelling the idea that Kashmir belongs to India and India belongs to Kashmir. He remains a timeless example of duty and service. In New Delhi, Ayushman Jamwal.